Fulbright Auditorium, located at McNeese, is reopening its doors after damage sustained from Hurricane Laura. KPLC's Devin DeStefano stopped by the theater as they finalized plans to reopen this weekend. The Bulber Auditorium has been a centerpiece of the original McNeese campus since 1939. Hundreds used to fill these seats for each show, but Hurricane Laura forced the theater to shut their doors. Trying to regain some normalcy within the community, within each of our lives. Personally, I know I drive out of my house and I see 20% of the dead trees in my area are still standing. And it is just a sobering reminder of how much destruction there was. But they were able to overcome that destruction. And after more than two years, the theater is reopening for their 31st annual Banners Cultural Series, a two month long celebration of musical, cultural, and theatrical performances. The Banners Cultural Program is part of the McNeese Foundation. And it brings international and national talent into Lake Charles that people wouldn't have a chance to see otherwise. Banner's assistant director Randy Parton says he's grateful to preserve the theater's history. But to be able to raise something up from the ashes uh, that had been virtually destroyed by a hurricane and preserve the facade and the historical value of what was done, uh, it, it's, it's just so incredible. It's a great feeling. Parton says the revival of this theater serves as a lesson to never give up on something. And to know that it's, it's going to survive, uh, to know that it's going to continue to have life, uh, it, it should give people motivation toward completing the, the tests and trials that they're going through personally. In Lake Charles, Devin DeStefano, 7 News. We're told the auditorium suffered from water and roof damage, and the reason it took years to reopen is due to the age of the building and the number of electrical repairs that had to be made.